Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa Grace and today we will be preparing and making some panels for plein air painting. And so I just ran out of my panels or just about and I'm about to go on a big trip. And so I wanted to be prepared so when I get on site I can just be ready to paint. So we have this four by eight piece of hardwood that we will be cutting hopefully to around 36 um, panels. I'm here with my dad and he is going to be, we'll be making them together and showing you guys how to do it. So making these panel boards is actually pretty easy. Uh, we're just gonna cut this big board up into all the pieces and then we're gonna put the sanding sealer on both sides. Um, if we put gesso only on one side of this, because of the nature of the hard board, it would warp. And so we're gonna put sanding sealer on both sides to keep it from warping. It'll seal it up real nice and then we can put the sand, put the gesso on just the top where the paint's gonna go. Cause this is cheaper than this. And so yes. we use this to cover both sides. We don't have to, cause we have to cover it both sides either way. And we don't wanna use the more expensive stuff on the back cause you don't see that part. So, so speaking of expenses, the hardwood, like this big piece costs around $20. Um, this bottle, it's a big bottle, this is um, 32 fluid ounces, and so this one costs around $30, but you only need around half of it to cover this board, or maybe even yeah. a quarter of it. So this will last us a while, yeah. but a bottle half the price would be around $20, and then this is how much? Uh, maybe like $15, but you only need um, actually less than this, just a pint or something. So we have these two materials that will last us a while, but in the long run, like it's a lot cheaper than buying pre-made panels and you can cut them to whatever size you want. So we decided to do 12 by 12s. So to cut 12 by 12s, we have a good stack of 10 by 12s over there and we're out of eight by 12s. So we're gonna do 12 by 12s and eight by 12s. So we have cut the first half. We um, have this, this right, can't pick it up. This stack here of 12 by 12s um, all cut and the edges are sanded. And we have the second half all ready and laid out. We made the grid on here um, so he can have the line to cut. So this is gonna be the eight by 12s. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by four, so. Yes, really excited and it's going great.
see the road now. And, um, got it on the back side of this one already. This is the front. The back side takes a little bit longer because it's got a texture to it and it really soaks in a lot. So you can't go quite as far at a time as you can on the smooth one. Um, but once they're coated, oh, just need to do it once, sand it up a little bit, and then start putting the gesso on. You can see they dry pretty quick. This is the first one I did back here. Is that a kitchen rack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just keep everything. <laughs> okay, so just about like this, Dad? Like one. Coat? Yeah, yeah. Is that a good That looks first good. Coat? And just while it's kind of wettish, run the brush the other direction. Ah. Uh. Just like that. And then we'll let it dry. Get a little bit more for this to make the direction. We're going to do a couple of coats. Okay, hey, I'm pretty satisfied with that. But then the process is just do three coats of that and then 